Good evening, everybody. Oh, watch out for that. That went horribly. Welcome back to Southbound Creamery. Um, normally, I record in the mornings. Um, this is the evening of day three. Still day three. <laughs> Can't believe that thing landed right on me. Now it's stuck. Uh, yeah, this is the evening of day three. I, uh, this is the stuff I normally do off camera, but while I was doing it, I happened to see a comment by Mr. B Gaming, who said, uh, basically that he enjoyed logging on Farming Simulator, and nobody really recorded it, and he liked to watch it, so, Mr. B Gaming, this one's for you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> it's really something you want to watch or not. Are you kidding me? How can I think we stuck in there like that? It's just part of the Scorpion King now. There we go. Anyways, alright. What we're doing here. We leased this thing again. Um, I went ahead and sold some wood chips to... Uh, offset the cost of the lease so we're right back where we were as far as money goes now um, what I'm gonna do is cut these down right around the sawmill here I'm trying to cut them into separate stacks um, doing the bigger stuff over here we'll end up selling it because right in the middle of the year perfectly in the middle of summer and it is now more profitable to sell a tree in logs than it is to chip the tree. Um, oops, I wanted to put that one over there. The last ones, last trees I was chipping uh, before I came over here to pay for this lease, I was getting just under four thousand dollars for a tree. Um, just two of those logs back there is more than four thousand dollars so you know this is this part of the year this is the way to go now that being said I'm gonna do this um, just long enough that maybe we can get us a good truckload maybe two truckloads here uh, I say truckloads but I probably won't even put them on a truck because we just have to take them right there to sell them right on the other side of that big wood pile but um, you know we'll get enough for a couple loads here and then we will move over to the uh, black sheep modding chipper over there and we will start cutting into that and see if we can get that thing filled up but yeah that's the plan that's that's what I was gonna do off camera so uh, why not do it on camera see what we got I don't know which way I should go I should keep going around or start going up. Six to one, half dozen to another, I suppose. So we just keep grabbing these trees and cutting them up. I don't know what the best way to get these down the hill is going to be. I may end up just going and getting the 1455 and the log grapple. Uh, I may just pick them up one at a time and drag them down the hill. Or maybe put the forks on the front and one on the back. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. I don't think it would be worth it to load a, a semi just to go, you know, 50 feet down the hill. I'm not fast enough at loading to justify that for sure. Definitely would be quicker to just pull them in one at a time, and I don't think the the theory I'm working with is I don't think that the lumber price changes uh, as far as you know when you're selling. I don't think the price will go down. I think it's pretty pretty constant, at least in my mind. Um, let's see. Take it 
take all the trees out of here, I guess. Just start clearing it out. Oh, come on, I saw it pop up. So we have to go up out. Alright, let's see. I guess I probably only have about 20 minutes or so left before we get an hourly charge on the Scorpion King here. So I don't know if I want to do that or not. Um, I've got a pretty good pile here. We can chip all this stuff, and I'm planning on probably taking those right there in front of us over there and chipping them into the uh, black sheep modding chipper. I'm not sure what the name of it is. That big red thing, you know, that one. That one from behind. What a snag. <laughs> How about that? I think that'll do it for this side for right now. Let's get the head spun back around. Let's go down here. And let's start clearing out around here. Somewhere we can get an easy pull right back to there. And let's change it to cut length too. We don't need, I guess three would be okay. Let's give it a try. I'm sure. To turn this on, start the engine, and turn on wood crusher. Let's see, three meters. Should be okay. Question mark. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> that didn't work at all. We jammed it up in there and knocked it out of the Scorpion King. Let's see if we can manipulate it in there now. Should be taking it in. Why isn't that going in there? I think it's very sensitive when our head hits the ground. That's one way to do it, I guess. Is there any way to see... I guess there's no way to see the comp what we have stored in there until we get a trailer and pull it up under the spout there. The pipe. I certainly hope the next tree goes easier than this. Mr. B, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> it's probably not what you had in mind, is it? A real 
lumber. No lumberjack here. This one's bound to go better. Much better feeling about this. Got the kinks worked out. Got the rock avoided right there. That's a good parking spot. Swing. Pushing it a little much. We will set the cut length down to two on the next one. This wasn't too bad, but it's just too wide, and you have to. It has to be on a angle right there. Yeah, most of it in there, though. And, uh, there's no way to see the capacity. Alright. Alright, I'm going to do this. Um, another 10 or 15 minutes. At least until this thing is full. But, uh, I'll see if I can speed it up a little bit for you. We will, uh, These should be pretty easy to get right here. I'm going to knock some out pretty quick. But, yeah, I'm going to change the cut length back to two, and I will be right back.
getting close now. I figure uh, about two more trees, this thing will be full. That will be a good stopping point for the day. Um, we'll have this thing ready to go for winter time when the price gets right. They will be stored and ready for pickup. Um, I'm also going to come and get the chipper here. We have the IT runner trailer right there to haul it with. I'll bring the semi up, grab this, and take it down to the trees that are in, field, in between field 10 and 11. Um, the plan sometimes still is to purchase field 12 and plow all three together. Make us a super field across the road to go with the super field we have behind the farm there. And might as well get started. Um, cutting the trees out from between 10 and 11 and we may as well store the chips um, between 10 and 11 will be close enough we can just cart the chips uh, over to the forage and chip silo and store them there <clears throat> speaking of the forage and chip silo I think I'm going to put one in here if we fill that up with this tree um, we still have a long time until winter. Um, it'd be a shame to just fast forward all that time when we could be could be working to cut down on this loan here. Could be working for the future stockpiling chips. So I think that twenty-five thousand dollar investment might might be worthwhile here. Somewhere somewhere around here we can find a place to put a forage and chip silo. And yeah, maybe over there. That will add another half a million liters of wood chips. That will definitely put us far ahead come winter time. So, something to think about. Uh, right now we only have 22,000, so that's definitely not going to not gonna work there. And we need to get this. Ooh, lease is almost up on this. Scorpion King, we have to turn this thing back in. So, it is 7.19 in the afternoon, in the evening. Shadows are getting long, sun is going down. Hey. Oh, it kept going because uh, it holds 5,000 liters too. Okay. So we do have 400,000 in storage. That is full. Turn the engine off. Turn the engine off in that. We'll go ahead and get that. Uh, call the store. Get them to come pick that up. They probably won't pick it up till in the morning. I doubt anybody's there this time of evening. But. Um, that was just a little something different. Um, Mr. B. I hope you enjoyed it. That was. Uh, that was what I do when I turn the camera off. Just do that until. Until the sun comes back up. So, not that exciting, but uh, something different, and it is, uh, you know, that, that's what I do, so, forget that dude. But, that's it. We are done here. We'll get that thing picked up, uh, maybe look into purchasing a forge and chip silo. Get the semi, hook the trailer up, and take the chipper down to 10 and 11. We do have a couple projects for the next couple days. I don't think there's anywhere over here to place one. But anyways, we'll work on that later. Um, that'll do it. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.